Huge announcement time, all right? I don't know how many gamers out there can relate to this, but me as someone who is fully addicted to video games and has been for a long time, whenever I have a game that I love, life is fucking amazing. And whenever I don't have a game that I love, I have a lot of extra free time and honestly, I'm a little bit more sad than usual. And I haven't had a game that I truly loved in a few years now, I was super addicted to Warzone. That was the last video game I was addicted to and I was so addicted that my girlfriend broke up with me. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. But I finally have a game that I'm so obsessed with. I think about it every moment of the fucking day. I, all I wanna do is play it. When I wake up, I wake up early as fuck now because all I wanna do is hop in the sim and play. And um, I wanna show you guys right now kind of what this is. Um, but yeah, I'm addicted to sim racing. Come over, come over here. Over the past two weeks, I have slowly put together my own sim racing rig and I built all of this by myself with my own two hands. Ryan, who's the camera guy, can confirm. Turn the camera on yourself, confirm it real quick. He did not put this together by himself. Shut up! Please, <laughs> Please tell him the truth. All right, all right. I, you know, I've never seen him so motivated and dedicated to build something by himself. It was actually really refreshing to see and he's a beast because I don't know how the fuck anyone could build that and I certainly cannot build that and it looks fucking amazing. Thank you. Honestly, 99% of the time, if I had to build something this complicated, I would have just hired somebody to do it because Fuck it, why not? But I actually really give a shit about this and I wanted to know every piece of the puzzle myself. So this, I built everything, bro. I built sim, the sim racing rig is from Advanced Sim Racing. Give them a huge shout out. Not because they gave me any discounts. I paid for all of it in full, but they were really dope and they helped me just give me advice on how to build it and stuff. So they're awesome and their products are actually fucking sick as shit. I built the fucking rig. I built the monitor stand. I put the monitors on there. I fucking built the seat slider fucking put the wheel in there, bro, everything. So yeah, this is the beginning of my sim racing journey. I'm absolute dog shit right now, but I have a coach. His name is Swellio. He's a beast. We do sessions a few times a week. And um, I am also learning his, he has a bunch of lessons that he gives me. So I'm learning those. I got those up here on this monitor and then on all three of these, that's where I'm racing, bro. And I'm coming for you, ESL R1. I'm coming for the league. I really want to make you go at being a pro. Obviously right now I'm dog shit, but um, I'm super passionate about this and maybe a year from now I can be racing with the best of the best But we'll not see. maybe when really do you believe in me? It's about manifestation. No you gotta way. like say it put Listen, in the universe. I'm a realist bro You know, I'm I'm I think all outcomes are possible. You know, what I'm saying I see I see every outcome, you know, but I am super passionate I know that passion and dedication can get you somewhere because I've done it once before man. I've done it once before and um by that, I'm talking about, you know, joining phase and kind of like blowing up on YouTube, all that shit, but whatever. Anyway, this is kind of what I'm up to. I really don't know how I'm going to share this process with you guys. All I know is that I'm recording everything right now. But yeah, we got the steering wheel, which was only $4,000. Yeah, <laughs> the steering wheel was $4,000, yeah. Stupid things rich people buy. <laughs> steering hey, listen, wheel. listen, can I justify it? I'm joking, I'm, I'm joking. It's not stupid okay. because I know myself. you want to. And I know that you deserve at some point I'm I would have bought it anyway. At some it, it, whether it was six months from now, a year from now, two years from now into sim racing, I would have eventually bought this wheel because it's the fucking best wheel on the market. I just saved myself a bunch of other wheels that I would have bought along the way leading up to this wheel right here. So that's my thought process. I see I would have spent like you know six hundred dollars on the first wheel and then a thousand dollars on the next wheel. And the reason I know this is because Mr. Crim6 who is a former Call of Duty pro turned sim racer, races for FaZe, huge inspiration to me, giving me so much, so many tips, insight, and just generally hyping me up. He told me, he was like, yo, I've wasted so much money on all these different wheels, I wish I just got this one and stuck with that one from the beginning. So that's why I bought this, okay? But it is more expensive than my super fucking nice gaming PC with the 3090 in the back. So that's pretty crazy, but. The four monitors, cause he's gonna be live streaming yep. this stuff. You got the wheels, the the pedals down there, the PC. This is this is the real deal. It's the real fucking deal, and I'm excited to share right. it with you guys. Two more things. One, where should I stream me sim racing? Because I'm thinking I have a Twitch page with like 900,000 followers, but they all followed me for Call of Duty. Um, so I'm thinking, what if I start streaming either on YouTube or on Kick and kind of build a new audience for uh, sim racing? Um, that's kind of my thought process, but I'd love to hear your guys' feedback. Um, at the end of the day, I just want to be able to share this journey with you guys and just chat with some of you guys who are interested in motorsports, sim racing. Um, and yeah, and also while I'm at it, if any of you guys watching this video are into sim racing and you want to be my friend, 
Um, I'm currently taking applications for homies in the sim racing space because I don't fucking really know anybody besides like Crim6 and uh, this NASCAR driver named Anthony. Um, and yeah, so if, if you if you enjoy sim racing, if you want to race with me, help me get better, just be my homie on Discord while we race. Um, you know, drop your iRacing below or just uh, let me know in the comments and I'll reach out to you guys. But that's pretty much it. That's, that's where I'm at right now. Yeah, that's what I got. All I can tell you is that I'm so fucking passionate about this shit. It's all I think about. And um, I'm just excited to have that in my life again, man. It's, uh, it's been a long time. And, and when you're a gamer, when you have a game that you love to play, it's like, it's like a beautiful life. It's like energy in the soul. And it's like, it's, it's so nice. And one thing to go out on the vlog, Lakers and Six. Lakers and, what the fuck, bro? What's your problem, dude? You're, you got me these shorts, bro. I did, those are fire. Yeah, I got you a jersey with FaZe Blaze on you know, it too. You I actually but... wear these shorts like constantly. Like I literally, they're my favorite shorts. I think I've never seen you not wear them, to be honest. Facts. They are but I wish you would wear the jersey more. Yeah, Can honestly. You, do you have it? Where yeah, is it? No, I have Pull it, it out. Closet. I mean, we're talking about it. It's in my closet, yeah. Yeah, Ryan got me these shorts and then he also got me two jerseys. Let's say FaZe Blaze on them. Ooh. Dude, that shit's so Honestly, fire. you know why I, wear, why I don't wear them? Because um, I, I like being low-key. I don't like... Wait, where's the other one? Oh, it's back here. Um, Shout out to uh, FaZe Replays. Me and him both got him a jersey for his birthday. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Replays was the other one, too. Um, Actually, I'm not... I think it's right here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah here it is. Damn. Yeah. Bro, who, who, like, what a good gift. I'm gonna hype myself up there. Like, who does- No, that was who, a like, dude. It's, uh, bro, it speaks volumes that I wear these fucking all the time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the only reason I don't wear these out more often is because I don't like, I don't like going out and showing, like, phase blaze, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, I already look a little bit different than I used to back then, so not as many fans come up to me anymore, but when they see the phase blaze, they're like, oh, it's him. So they'll come up to me at the gym and fucking everywhere. Yeah. Which, I don't, at the end of the day, it's cool, but like I, I just prefer being like a normal fucking low key human and just like you know, I don't know how to explain that. Does that sound conceited of me? No, no. You like privacy I and do like privacy. That's the great being way to low key. It. I like privacy. I like being low key. 